what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back it's your boy terabyte reacts yes we are back here with some more sons of anarchy reactions man yay you already know last episode was crazy and a lot of you guys came through with the comments man i really do appreciate you guys commenting on the videos um as i said man um uh, i know that we are winding down on the series right now um so i don't expect much interaction but interaction really does push the videos to get more views um so continue to do that man continue to do that i'm gonna try my best to leave questions and stuff like that you know during my reactions for you guys so you can interact more and to give me um more things to answer to in the in the comment section but i really do appreciate you guys coming through in the last last reaction to let me know you guys are still alive and watching the series <laughs> anyways i appreciate y'all so what we're gonna do we're just gonna jump in to these reactions man um they just blew up the club like what the hell <laughs> you know what i'm saying um the russian not the russian the um the uh, the ira in play <laughs> you know what i'm saying they ain't playing no games um with they yeah you guys know what i'm talking about <laughs> you know but we'll see we'll see we'll see anyways let's jump in i'll see you guys for the review you know i've been watching this show now you guys you guys know we're pretty much halfway through this season six and you guys know i'm a huge tara fan i'm a huge fan of hers of how much she's endured for this for the club ever since she came on board with the show you know yeah you know i'm saying I, I i'm all for the Jax and tara relationship and I know that, you know, in certain situations, you know, you have to make these decisions, you know, and maybe not everybody is going to agree with those decisions. Um, did, did, did Gemma deserve this? Hell no. Could have found a better way to get her out of the picture. Tara would, the thing about Gemma, Gemma will never do anything to like purposely to hurt her family she's done stuff to protect people not in the way that we expect her or expect anybody to do she's done some crazy stuff you heard how i went off on her when she almost got the boys killed for driving high and you know what i'm saying but we're far from that now we're so far from that we're tara would do something like this to get Gemma out of the picture and also to force Jax's hand to sign those papers. And I don't agree with that. I can't agree with that. I can't sit here in good conscience and be like, oh, she's right. You know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't agree with any of you women out there that would have done something like this and be like, oh, I'm just trying to protect my kids. There's plenty of ways you can protect your child without lying. Um, telling lies about it there's plenty of ways that you can do it you get what i'm saying so in certain you know in certain situations you know what i'm saying i could see this you know what i'm saying in, in certain extreme situations i could see her doing something like this just in case Gemma was the type of person that would kick her in the stomach you know what i'm saying like Gemma is that type of person, but she would never hurt her like that because Gemma actually thought Gemma actually thought that she and Tara was on good terms. And that's the thing where she, you know what I'm saying? Like she always was checking up on her, asking her, you know, how is everything? How are the boys? Blah, blah, blah. And all this other stuff. She was even leaving the kids with Gemma so for her to do something like this and to force her hand and wendy was in on it you know what i'm saying wendy was in on it she basically told her this to aggravate her because why why 
it doesn't make sense for her to change i was like what it just didn't make sense that she and they they did that scene before where the administrator lady redhead whatever she came and got wendy so it made me think made us think as the audience that you know that what it, but we all know that wendy was a double agent anyways within this whole situation you know what i'm saying so um i think everything that they were doing together was planned wendy and tara and the redhead lady i think everything was planned i think they were plotting on Gemma. that's the reason why um you know wendy was faking the makeup thing you know like she got hit or whatever the situation is so it put a lot of things into perspective for for them as a as a group i don't i don't like them anymore <laughs> i don't like him anymore wendy tara reddit administrator woman not necessarily the lawyer because the lawyer is just doing she, she's just doing her job you get what i'm saying so i can't put her in the blame right but i don't like them i don't think it's going to end very well for them now that you actually look at certain things i don't think it's going to end well for them you know what i'm saying so some some beautiful things happen in that episode man that i really would like to touch on touched on a little bit here and there um in the um in the in the episode i was talking about it and you know that grandma deserve she deserved to go but at the same time you know people like that you put them under the prison man. <laughs> you know what i'm saying just, just just lock him up and throw away the key anybody that would do that to their own child is just you are <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You've. I don't even know what to say about people like that. Why are they even? Why do they even exist? How can somebody do that to their own child? Not that, you know, doing it to somebody else's child is any better, but to look at your own child and record them naked or let other people do stuff to them and then record it and then sell it. I mean, you have to be some kind of sick, a different kind of sick to do something like that. So there's certain topics that this show does touch on sometimes. They don't spend a lot of time there, but they do touch on, you know, certain issues that plague society and stuff like that. And it's very refreshing to see sometimes when it comes on to this show. And that's what I'm saying. I don't like to when my tv shows are about that you get what i'm saying like don't push it as an agenda you can include it you know in during the show but don't push it as an agenda that's how you organically involve certain issues into shows and nobody has an issue with it because it's a topic we need to explore it but when you do a whole show about it you get what i'm saying when you do a, a complete whole show about it it just comes off as a documentary and not entertaining at all you get what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, touch on those issues. No issues with that whatsoever. Bobby is back in the club. I was happy to hear that he was recruiting for the club and not trying to start his own charter, which is what I thought at first. So they send Connor home, you know, so th that's one of the things too, if this is going to go smoothly, um, I'm glad that the the, the dude uh, Borowski, I think his name is. Um, I'm glad that he he didn't. I thought he was gonna bring up the situation with the police, so I'm still gonna keep my eye on him because I don't know what he's going to decide to do going forward. But I'm definitely gonna keep my eye on him for sure. But in any case, guys, um, this was two really good episodes of Sons of Anarchy. Um, it was really good the aftermath of the explosion well done episode and as i said the writing has not diminished you know what i'm saying but it but the show has definitely slowed down a bit and we know that it's probably going to pick up pace because they're trying to kind of deal with the family stuff that has been going on and that's like brought to the forefront of the show right now where they're dealing with a lot of family issues whether it's um you know clay it's not really about 
because they're trying to get away from all the violence and stuff like that even though it happened it's still happening but the show has slowed down in that manner where we're just dealing with the family situation and them having to deal with this while trying to go straight you know what i'm saying so i'm happy for that but in any case guys as i said before two beautiful episodes thank you guys so much for tuning in as always leave a like leave a comment and i will catch you guys later as always Peace.